Cozy.net is here. Becozy.net is an American website with the biggest collection of chunky yarns in the United States and in the world. We are located in Holland, Michigan. If you're local, please stop by in our office. We don't have a storefront, but we have an office. And we're happy to see uh, people come into our office. Holland, Michigan. And uh, today I will be showing you how to make a, a little heart or hearts on a blanket. Because it's a Valentine's Day coming soon, so this is the blanket I made in pink uh, and pink camel color, uh, available only at becozy.net. And you can see these little hearts and on the bottom, uh, they look really cute and it's actually pretty easy to make. So I will be showing you how to make those little hearts. So what yarn I used, I used Bicozy Chunky Chanel yarn in white, in pink, it's pretty bright pink, and also pink camo, as I said, pink camo is available only in our store, you cannot find it anywhere. Actually, you cannot find this pink color anywhere either. Uh, for the hearts, I used our hot pink, it's very, very popular color, uh, just a little bit needed, just literally a little bit, that's why I'm using leftover. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay guys, so here how it looks closer. So this is pink and this is hot pink hearts. And this is how I added white. And I actually added a line of white before I transitioned to the uh, pink camo. I thought it would be looking nice with this kind of popping up. I will show you how I did it. So what we will be doing now, we will be starting with our pink color and then we will go to pink camo uh, and then we will make uh, hot pink cards on the pink and then we will have white in the middle what else we will need we will need scissors and a lighter because that's how i will be making those hearts so let's start with the pink so here it is and if you're watching my videos you know that i'm usually making a knot on the end but uh, if i'm using the lighter for uh, making something on the blanket i'm also using the lighter to uh, light up or burn a little bit of an end and that will prevent it from unraveling okay instead of making a knot or you can just make a knot too let me show so if you're making a knot you're making a knot and then cut the tail close to the knot and that will prevent yarn from unraveling so let's get started place the yarn in front of you this is the tail this is working yarn working yarn goes on the top of the tail now you made the loop insert your left hand inside the loop if you're left-handed it will be your right hand and then grab this working yarn and pull it through the loop now you have like a letter a here so you're pulling the loop up and you're pulling these two strings uh working yarn and the tail down so here we are we just made our first stitch the stitch is very big so we will pull working yarn down and make it about one inch uh, big or wide or tall. So what are we doing now? We will be casting on 21 stitches, guys, okay? So insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull yarn out. So this is our second stitch. You see, I'm making them uh, about the same size. That's very important because the finished blanket would look very nice this way. And now I will press the bottom of the stitch. I will insert fingers of the right hand, grab working yarn, and pull the yarn out. Make third stitch. The same, I'm pressing the uh, bottom of the stitch to keep it the same size. Insert my hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. And now I will be doing it for 21 times. The size of this blanket uh, is 30 by 50, with 30 being the weeds of the blanket. And uh, I will for we actually will make 21 stitches uh, because we want those hearts 
to be very symmetric. So usually for the blanket 30 by 50, I'm making a chain of 20 stitches, but because we need this hard to be uh, symmetrically looking, it will be 21. So let's count, maybe I have even more than I need. So counting is by uh, this top parts of the stitch or the bottom or the middle part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, and twenty-one. So we have a little bit more than we need. Okay, so what are we doing now? As always for the blankets, I am turning it on another side. The walking yarn goes on the back. And the reason I'm turning it, because I want this beautiful chain to be on the bottom of the blanket. And this is the only way to have beautiful chain on the bottom. So what are we doing now? Now we are pulling out the first row. So this is our first stitch. We're going from underneath, we're grabbing working yarn, pulling it out. This is our first stitch, guys. So now we will be using the middle part of the stitch, not the top, not the bottom, the middle part. So lift it, then insert your fingers, grab working yarn, pull it out. So we just made second stitch. Try to make them the same size. Now, next one, not the top, not the bottom, the middle part. Lift it with your left hand. Insert your right hand fingers, grab walking yarn, pull it out. And keep doing this way until you pull out all 21 stitches. So, uh, I will be using the whole skein of each color on this blanket. And because I know how many rows it will usually take for the blanket 30 by 50, I will be making four rows before I will start making the hearts. So after the first row, this is our first row, I'm pulling out and you can see I'm trying to make all stitches the same. See, it's very important because if you make one stitch bigger, one smaller, the blanket will not look good when you are finished. Okay, let's see, we're almost done. I will show you the important part of making blankets. Here's our last stitch. So here it is. We have 21 stitches, first row is done. So now we are going to our second row, guys, okay? So the same way, insert your hand, grab working yarn, and pull it through the stitch. Again, try to make stitches on the same size. I am knitting usually in the medium tightness. I'm not knitting too tight or too loose. I think it's, uh, it's the way I like it. It's very uh, personal. A lot of people like to knit very, very tight and it looks beautiful. But uh, this is my way of knitting. I'm doing it for uh, over eight years and I really like it. So here we are. We just made second row. As you can see, my stitches are pretty much the same size again. They look pretty nice, that's the goal. And now we, when we're done with our second row, here's our last stitch. Don't forget, you're going from underneath for the knitting stitches, pull the yarn out and finish it. So starting this row, starting third row, I am skipping the first stitch. Why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. So the yarn goes on the back, this stitch, we just needed it as the last, and it's just sitting here. Just forget about it when you start, okay? And then just go in the second stitch, grab working yarn, and pull it out. It's very simple, just skip it. And that's starting this row, it's our third row official. Uh, I am skipping first stitch in every row. Why I'm doing it? That will give you a beautiful chain on both sides. It will be similar to the chain on the bottom. See, it's already forming. You will have these beautiful chains. 
and if you if it's too hard for you you of course uh, you of course can knit the first row but uh, it will not be as nicely looking and you will need a little bit more yarn okay so third row is done and I will show you again at the beginning uh, I'm skipping the first stitch again so the yarn goes on the back this first stitch is sitting the here. We just needed it as the last in the previous row. And then this row, it's first stitch, we are skipping it. Go in the second, grab looking yarn, pull it out. So now I will need, this is our row number four. I will need the whole row. And then I will come back and show you how to make hearts. Uh, okay, guys, so we are back. We have four rows. You can count them very easily by these beautiful chains. One, two, three, four. So that's when we will start adding uh, hot pink hearts, okay? So we have 21 stitches, as I said, and the reason is because we will uh, leave this two uh, on the sides, and then we will count one, two, three, four, this will be our heart. One, two, three, four. This will be our heart. One, two, three, four. That will be our heart. One, two, three, four, and ends. Okay? So this way we will have these three beautiful hearts. I very like symmetric uh, uh, things in the middle of the blanket. That's why I'm doing it this way. It's very, it will be very symmetric. So if you want uh, to make bigger blanket, then you will calculate how many stitches, how many hearts you want. But this is how we will be doing it for this particular blanket, 30 by 50. So anyway, I am starting knitting this uh, row this one skipped see beautiful chain forming uh, second stitch third fourth fifth and now we are making a heart so how we're making it we're cutting the yarn and uh, this pink one and we're cutting it kind of like close to the stitch over here right and uh, now we are taking hot pink and we will lighten it up like that see it's burning now you're taking pink and you are connecting this two together hold for a little bit because it's really hot if you start uh, rubbing it right away you will burn yourself and so wait for a little bit and then start rubbing it together you will feel this inner part of the yarn is melting together and you can hold it for a little bit, and then you can try. See, it's uh, it's connected together very nicely. So now pull the uh, stitch a little bit, that this connection will be in the middle. And now next stitch, see, it's kind of like a marker. It's laying this direction. We know that it will be hard. I am making it in hot pink. And then again, the same way, in the middle of the stitch, I'm cutting it, and then I'm returning the pink back. This time I am lighting it up. I'm burning the pink, and I am connecting hot pink. <laughs> so here they are, they're melting together. Wait for a few seconds, it's really hot, believe me. And then start rubbing it together, pressing it together, kind of connecting it. So that's how we will make the heart. That's pretty much it, guys, okay? So now we will go next four. One, two, three, four. And I placed the stitch for the heart uh, up or down, facing this direction. We are again cutting the yarn and taking hot pink. Start burning it until you see fire here burning, and then connect pink. Here we are. So be careful with the lighter, especially if you're doing first time, not to burn yourself or the yarn or your house. So anyway, uh, here we are. We're making second heart or second stitch in hot pink, and we are cutting the yarn and we are returning our pink. We are burning the end and we're adding the hot pink. Waiting for a few seconds. 
So this time, uh, this way of connecting is time consuming and can be actually uh, hurtful too, because if you burn yourself, uh, I'm using this way only if I'm making uh, something uh, in the middle of the blanket, like a picture or a letter, or in this case, when I'm making a heart. So this is our second, and this is our third and last heart in this uh, row. Again, we're starting the started burning the hot pink, then a connecting pink, and then push them together, wait for a few seconds, and then start uh, pressing or rubbing it together. And then when you're done, don't forget uh, to kind of try if it's connected well enough, because sometimes it doesn't, so you need to try, and if it's holding nicely, then you connected, you did a really good job. So now, last heart, and now we're cutting, and we are connecting pink. So back to pink. See, it's not burning good enough. You should see the fire on this one, and then you're connecting. Wait for a few seconds, pushing it toward each other. And so, as you remember, we made four rows before we started it, okay? If you're making bigger blanket, it will be less rows unless you want to use more than one skein. And again, I would recommend to have at least three rows from the bottom before making hearts because then you will really see them nicely. So now we are simply knitting the same uh, way, skipping first stitch, and then go to all the uh, stitches, and you're simply knitting this hot pink, and then it becomes a little heart, okay? So what I'm doing now, I will be knitting all my pink color, I still have about half of the skein left, and then I will come back and I will show you how I will connect the next color, which will be uh, pink camo, okay? So here we are. Look, you already see this beautiful hearts forming. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, look at this beautiful little hearts. Isn't it cute? So simple, right? So we used one skein of uh, pink color. We just finished it. It was perfect. I finished the last row. And now I'm actually taking some extra white. Not this white that I will be using in the middle, but a little piece of extra white because I want to add this beautiful edge. Okay, here is the pre-made blanket. That is how I'm doing it. If you don't want uh, to do it this way, or if you don't have extra white, just do it uh, very simple knitting stitch, not even purling, because I will be doing purling stitch. So here we are, we're connecting, and here I will connect it with a simple knot, because this is my most preferable way of connecting yarn. If you make it tight enough, it will never break, it will never disconnect, okay? Unlike the burning that can still disconnect sometimes. Anyway, uh, so here we are, and now we will be purling next row. Purling is uh, done this way, and because we're starting new color, we are uh, knitting or purling the first stitch, we're not skipping it, okay? So here we are. Yarn goes on the top, not on the back, and then you're taking a stitch and you're pushing yarn through. Here we are. We just made our pearl stitch. Take a, st a stitch, push the yarn through. And then keep doing it. So I was asked, guys, uh, somebody in our Facebook uh, group asked uh, and said that uh, it's much harder to pearl than to knit, especially for people who have arthritis. So for those people, it's, I suggested a very easy trick. Turn this on another side, like that. And then you are just making a simple knitting stitch. 
not purling, especially if you need to purl for a few rows, not just uh, one or two. And <coughs> when you're purling uh, up front, on the back, it looks like knitted stitch, OK? So here we are. We're just simply uh, changing the side. And then you are not purling. You're not hurting your uh, hands. So this is, by the way, how the blanket will look on the back. This is our uh, hearts. So we're going back. And we are now adding our uh, pink camo color, okay? So here we are. Find the end, cut the yarn, usually just inch or a little bit over an inch, and then now connect <coughs> the hot pink. So simple knot again, because as I said, I prefer this way of connecting yarn. And pull different directions, and then cut the tail close to the knot. Here we are. OK, come on. Here we are. So now, this fell off. It was our knitted stitch, or purled. So now what we're doing, I am purling next row again. And the reason I'm doing it, see this uh, white color is popping up. That is my intention, because when it's popping up like that, it has, uh, I think, a beautiful uh, connection, beautiful uh, change of color. Instead of just making the next row simply knitted, I am uh, making it popping up. See how beautiful it is? White and white here, and then in the middle there is hot pink. It looks really beautiful this way. And so it's two rows of pearled, guys. So one row pearled was white, and then I connected pink camo, and I am uh, pearling second row with pink camo. So now when we're done with our connection, we are simply knitting the same way we knitted before. Simple knitting stitch over here. We are knitting until we are done with all of the hot pink color, OK? So I will be, I will not be adding hearts on the hot pink because it's very bright, variegated color, and those hearts will not be really visible. Uh, so what I will do, I will simply knit uh, the whole skein of pink camo, and then I will come back. I will show you how to uh, transfer from hot pink to white, and that's how we will do it. I'll be back. OK, guys, we are done with our hot pink. Here it is. Look how beautiful it looks. So little hearts, then this beautiful uh, change of colors. And as I said, no hearts here because hot pink is very bright. So look here, we have a tail, uh, almost the length of the uh, width of the blanket, but it will not be enough, OK? So for this reason, I will cut this yarn and I will connect our next color, which is white, OK? So here it is. Again, simple knot, guys. And then make it tight. And then cut the tails close to the knot. Here you go. Now, we lost one stitch, it came out, so let's put it back. And now we do the same, we will do one row of pearl, okay? That's the difference, guys. So when we're connecting uh, here, I added white, and that's why we had two pearled rows. Here we will have only one pearled row, and then when we are changing the other direction, after all this white skein that I am making in the middle of the blanket, I will also put hearts in the middle, OK? And then we will do the same. As I said, I like to do everything symmetric. So there will be white. 
and then when it's time to switch from the white to uh, pink camo, we will do uh, two rows of pearl and we will use extra white yarn. Okay, so here we are. Let's see, we're purling. And after first row, we are going back to knitting. Okay, so oops, here we are. We're knitting first row because first stitch because we are uh, just switched color, and then after this row we will be skipping it again. So see, here I was skipping, here I was not. When I'm switching colors, I am not skipping my first stitch. If it's too confusing, guys, just make simple knot stitch or pearl stitch, depending what you're doing, on all stitches on the sides if it's too confusing for you see here we are uh, you can see already how beautiful this connection looks we are going from hot pink to pink uh, i mean from hot from pink camo to white and this is how it will look this white is popping out and now i will be simply knitting the uh, white color okay so, uh, as I said, I will be adding uh, y uh, more hearts on the white. And the same way I did it here on the pink, I will do it on white. So here you see this uh, pink uh, heart was here. So it will be on the same uh, row over here. The same way, guys, I will make four uh, rows of white and the same as on the pink. And then you're keeping and counting one, two, three, four, remember, like we did there, and then pull down one stitch, that will be your heart. So we will have hearts done in the same way, in the same direction, in the same row, this way, and then we will just knead the blanket the same way we needed the beginning, only in a different direction. So pink, uh, pink camo white, and then it will be after white, it will be pink camo and pink. And when you will be knitting that direction, after you're done with white, you will need one, you will need to make one pearled row and start pink, okay? Then w when you are done, you will need to make hearts with the pink like here. And that's how the blanket will be done. So when I'm done, I will come back and I will show you how to finish this blanket. Okay, guys, so let me show you what we have here. So this is where we started. This is pink color. It was a, a hot pink hearts. And then remember we made one extra white row with uh, extra white yarn. And then we actually purled two rows. After one white, we added hot pink and we purled two. Then we knitted a whole skein of hot pink. Then we added white and we purled one row. And then I knitted all white and I added hearts in the middle of the white on the same location where they were on the pink. Then I added hot uh, pink camo the same way as here. Here there was one pearl row, here there was one pearl row. You're simply adding, here you're adding white, here you're adding uh, pink camo. Then, when you're done with your pink camo, I added one extra white row with some extra yarn, and then I purled two rows, guys, okay? And after I purled two rows, we have this beautiful connection, and then I connected pink. So now, after I uh, knitted four rows of pink, one, two, three, four. We can now add uh, more hearts 
in the same way as we did before. We're skipping one stitch, counting one, two, three, four. This will be hard. One, two, three, four. That will be hard. One, two, three, four. This will be hard. And here we have four. So we are knitting our pink color all the way to the place. We see we're coming from another direction, so it will be good to show you uh, how to do it on this side. I'm cutting yarn. It's in the middle of the stitch. And then I'm taking my lighter. And this time I am burning this side. I always burn left side, guys, OK? And then I'm taking hot pink and connect it. And wait for a few seconds and then rub it together. Or press it together or rub it together, whichever works, OK? You just need to connect it and then wait until it cools down. That's where you can check if it connected. And then pull. It's holding. We connect it. So now we're making a hot pink uh, stitch. Cutting. And as usual, I am burning left first. And then I'm adding pink. So that's what I will do, guys. I will add these three hearts the same way I did at the beginning, OK? And then I will keep knitting until I use all my pink yarn. But I will need to leave some of it uh, to uh, cast off. So you will need to leave. I usually leave three uh, and a half or four widths, OK? So one, two, three, four. That is how much you will need to leave to cast off pink. So I will keep knitting and making hearts. And when I am done, I will come back and I will show you how to cast off. OK, guys, so you can say I added uh, hearts over here. I have enough yarn to cast off, so I will be casting off. I will be knitting this first stitch and uh, before cast starting casting off, because this way the end uh, will look very nicely. Now I will put my hand inside the stitch, add second stitch, and then I will knit them together. See, this extra stitch is making uh, the edge of the blanket very nice and beautiful angle here. If you just start ca ca casting off, it will be round here. So I like to do it this way. And now I will be just knitting two stitches at a time. See, one stitch, add another, knit them together. And then keep adding one stitch to your hand and keep knitting them together. So uh, all the same way as on the bottom, try to make stitches on the top a little bit on the looser side. This way, the blanket will not be too tight on the top. And it will be nice and rectangular shape. So then when you are done casting off and you have this beautiful chain on the top, what we will do, we will finish this blanket with here we are. So this is two last stitches. Knit these two last stitches. Now we will cut the yarn. I will burn the end a little bit. And then this end goes inside the last stitch. And then you pull it. And we are done. I am hiding it underneath this chain on the top over here. And a few times back and forth. And then hide it or weave in the end uh, on the back like that. So you cannot really see it. Just tuck it in. Uh, if you have any connection, like where you connected the yarn, uh, white yarn and pink, you just simply tuck in the yarn on the back. 
over here connection if you have any yarn just tuck it in see like here i have connection and i just simply tucked it in you can sew the yarn too if you want it to be really really connected nicely so here our beautiful blanket with hearts guys it's perfect for valentine's day you can use any other color but this color is available at becozy.net you can buy them there uh stay warm and be cozy Hey guys, uh, Larissa Koideke with Becozy.com is here. Two years ago in September, I published my book uh, that called Hand Knitting. I created hand knitting style in the end, at the end of uh, 2015. And uh, last year, oh, actually two years ago, I wrote a book, it was printed. This uh, book tells you what hand knitting is, uh, the story of uh, my company, Becozy. And also we have a few amazing uh, patterns and every single step uh, how to hand knit is shown in this book. This book is sold at becozy.com and on Amazon, and Amazon you can also buy a Kindle version. So go get this book for yourself or for your loved ones. Thank you.